Hi guys, welcome to part one of my 2024 Christmas Village full tutorial series. I know, it is a very strange spot to start a new season, but as you can see, my beloved, my preferred spot is already condemned. First weekend of July 2024. And as tradition dictates, as my family tradition dictates, here I am with a new season, with a new fantastic adventure. But why my beloved spot back there is already condemned starting from part one? Yes, you guessed it correctly. I expanded once again my plywood surface has been expanded during the winter month and uh, months sorry plural and i don't think i will expand more during this season but who knows about next one so let me switch to the other camera and let me try to explain the total surface and i know that today this camera here guys sorry i'm checking the monitor there I know that it is in a strange position, not a usual position, but you will understand why in some hours. For me, not for you. For many years, for many seasons, my standard uh, layout was from this point here to this point there in a width that is equivalent to 180 centimeters, 70 inches six feet and the depth was equivalent 180 centimeters six feet and during the seasons during the years you have seen me crying in search for expansion i will always need more space but luckily for me this is a huge room so i expanded once again today and I think for this 2024 season, the depth will always be 180 centimeters, um, some more inches, some more centimeters due to the uh, background brackets you have there, the gray ones, but they are not gray, they are steel brackets. But the width is right now 12. 360 centimeters, 3 meters and 60 centimeters. Not precisely 12 feet, but around 12 feet. So this season is huge once again with all I have planned, guys, but I will not reveal too much right now. I needed to talk about my new village what I have planned. <laughs> I have always in my sick mind a ton of things, but uh, not like last season, that wasn't that good, at least for me. Too much 3D printing, too much 3D modeling. During the years I did standard layout, standard team, as tradition dictate. And at some point in 2022, I did something different, two seasons ago. Generally, a Christmas village is an utopia. What is an utopia? Something irreal, too good to be true. Something that is perfect, in harmony, constant harmony, uh, with nothing bad. It never happened. So Christmas, Christmas period, the Christmas season is always an utopia. And it is like that, that is tradition, but I don't like to be too much traditional as you already know. So in 2022, I did a a dystopia, something, no, sorry, a dystopia in English. A dystopia that is a something that differs from reality. 
all my Christmas village has always been um, Victorian era time. So Department 56, Dickens Village, uh, Limax, Lemax, Caddington Collection. And two seasons ago, sorry, guys, I introduced some dystopic theme, some um, steampunk elements were introduced by my sick mind into the layout. And will I be doing once again a dystopia? No, guys, I will not. But I will go with another. Greek term. I will go with an Uchronia. <laughs> what is an Uchronia? An Uchronia is something that has differentiated from the standard temporal line. Something that happened in the past make a difference in the present. I'm not talking about the future because the future is not uh, dystopia some, because we don't know the future right now. We can hypothesize about the future, but we don't know the future. So, yes, steampunk was, yes, a dystopia, but also a Uchronia. But I will, not go, I will not go with some steampunk. I will go with something that is always, that will be always centered on um, Victorian era period, 1860 to 1911, so that century there, not a century, that period of time from the end of 1800th century to the beginning of 1900th century. But I will introduce some Ukrainian elements. So I will do something that will differ, dif that will be different from the reality we know right now or the reality we know about the past. <laughs> Complicated, yes, but I will go that way. So I will introduce once again the use of my hands. Obviously, I had to 3D model and 3D printer some figurines, uh, some new figurines and some new buildings because they were lacking for in on, on every catalog, on Lamax, on Department 56, on every catalog will always be lacking what I need to create what my sick mind and visualize during the winter time. So I will go once again doing much more things with my bare hands using my standard uh, expanded, not a, no, uh, extruded styrofoam, sorry, my 9mm stick extruded styrofoam and other types of uh, new techniques. And I will introduce once again the timid mini sections, guys. At least four. Maybe five or six if I add the time, but one will be very time consuming, very complex to achieve. But I will try to go that way. So you will see many strange th things happening, many things differing from the real. Not too much, not that much, but something will be a punch in your stomachs, guys. I'm sorry. Nothing. Um, bloody, nothing with violent, nothing violent, nothing uh, I will uh, cut your throat, nothing bloody, not, not even for uh, Halloween, I think. Something a little dark, yes, I already told that to you some seasons ago, but I need to go with something more near to reality, guys. And not everything always as perfect as in Christmas season. Too much said. Yes, maybe you are switching to another video right now. 
but I want to try something I never tried before. And absolutely one of the four, five or six sections will be very intense, maybe also two of them, but we are not there yet. The layout, the layout will be the only thing I will tell you, told, tell, I will say to you right now is it will be somehow separated in two parts. For now on, let's say that. And I have modeled many buildings because if you take buildings from Lemax Department 56, Christmas, um, Dickens Village collections, you don't find two buildings that are similar, that are at least equivalent, that differs just a little bit one from the other. But uh, in the Victorian era, Europe or US or everywhere else, mm -mm, urbanism wasn't Beth, uh, they are the villages, the cities were almost uh, a collection of similar buildings, one beside the other. I haven't duplicated all my buildings, just differing from I don't know from the chimney or anything like that. But I wanted to prove that even with similar buildings with a similar architecture, a Christmas village can work, can function. And I will not only use my proper buildings, I will integrate them with some of the best looking um, buildings I collected during the years. Was once that was sent me as a gift from a viewer of this channel. I start by thanking you. Thanks to Linda Story, guys. And I just want to mention her, but it is a very beautiful building. Okay, I know. Uh, I need to show you that building. I just need to do four steps and get it, the building. This building here, guys, this is a standard, guys. This is from old Lemax times. I was in search of these for many, many, many years. It is it has almost more than 20 years, guys. This is the blue, fantastic, wonderful uh, ballroom palace. And look at how interesting was the architecture made by Lemax 20 or more years ago. So these, thank you once again, Linda, uh, will be one of the buildings I will integrate with the new ones I've made. Uh, I will talk about this building in some weeks, but as you can see, this is a fantastic building because it is usable from every angle. At this time, all the buildings were porcelain and this is porcelain and the buildings are no big hole in the back that makes the buildings not usable from this angle and not showable from this angle. This building can be placed wherever you want and the wires come from down below. This is a wonderful, very rare, very vintage building with sounds, lights and movement inside. And this was how good was Lamax slash Limax at that time. I ask you, can you find such buildings? 
such design in the last five Lamax collections during the, five, the last five years. Mm. I know, I, uh, I will, sorry, I'm out of focus. I will always have Lamax hating me for what I'm saying, but I will always continue using Lamax products, Lamax buildings. But, guys, uh, if only you take a look to the old collections from Lamax mm, and could collect all the vintage, all the buildings from the 90s to 20 or 2002, 2006, wonderful, even to 2010, I think. But no, <laughs> not uh, after Nora's Christmas boutique year season. Sorry, I diverged from my original um, uh, thinking, but <clears throat> I'm mad, you know I'm sick, you know I'm deranged, you know, and please add whatever you want about what is inside here. So that will be one of the buildings I will be using from this side of the layout, from the right side, from your point of view, and, uh, <coughs> sorry guys, and um, some other different buildings from the left side. Victorian, crazy, mad things will happen, and I'm sorry for that. Uh, will I start today? Yes, something I will need to show you, at least something, my starting point. And, uh, but yes, new stair guy. Guys, sorry, you are out there. Uh, last season, you haven't seen me mm -mm, producing any good stairs. Yes, the, the rounded stair that I had in that corner there, the ones uh, allowing access to the fairy wheels was, a new stair, but mm, not in my tradition. It was all 3D printed, almost 3D modeled. I have sketched the strange a new main stair that will be on this side once again. And uh, for the first time, I will do something uneven, something not symmetrical and it is a big risk. 90% of the new stair will be styrofoam, designed, modeled, uh, glued by myself and I think only the handrails will be 3D printed, 3D modeled. I will show you something maybe during this part one but I think Maybe it is better for part two. So I will start, guys, from showing you these awful uh, stains I have on the plywood. This uh, has been caused by some fluid, some water fluid I had during the seasons. But two main um, yes, I could have turned upside down the plywood and hided them from you, but why? I don't want to, <coughs> um, to lie. So, those are new stains, guys. I don't know if you can see, and they were caused by the soap melted I uh, used for simulating the water. At some points, you will see me do using that technique, but I will need to uh, modify it a little bit. And as I will be using for the main uh, structure, some um, expanded styrofoam that is porous, porous, that can be uh, messy with some liquid getting with some hot liquid soap 
I will melt the soap and uh, to do some water. Not that much, don't worry guys. You will only see a little portion, a little conical portion. So I don't want to damage even this season. And this was so hard to remove. I was uh, scratching and scrapping all the plywood <laughs> during two days for um, eliminating the residual soap that I had uh, that leaked through the styrofoam. So I will uh, protect a little bit the center of my stage. The center, if you, I go there, uh, it is the 90 centimeters, so uh, 60 there, 60 here is 120, so 60 plus there. The middle of the layout, it is almost there. I've tried to expand, uh, let me see, yes, getting at least the same width from one side and from the other. So if this is 360 centimeters, it means that it is 80 centimeters more from that side and from the left side to 80 centimeters. So the center will be there. And I will try to protect the center. I will try to protect the plywood because I don't want to damage it any further. It's not some cheap plywood, this one. But I will use some giant, some big trash bags. Okay, simple as that. I will try to go with some trash bag and they are plastic trash bags, guys. And I will try to protect the surface, the plywood surface with a simply those trash bag. I will cut them, obviously, and I will need to cut the bottom and I will use it. So let's have some music then. I will explain why I'm doing this. Okay guys, that's it. I protected, uh, roughly done, I know, but it is just a protection for the plywood. And uh, I don't think I will ever have uh, the water coming to this point here and uh, not even to this point there from the other side. I simply think I will have uh, A narrow river, guys. A deep but narrow river. In plain middle, maybe a little curvy, having some curves at some points, maybe starting from the middle, then getting some curved. And then with a big um, end there, uh, having the width necessary to accommodate the bridge that someone have already seen if you watched the, 
the tutorial on how to make uh, by yourself street lamps for your Christmas villages, but at that time it was completely just 3D printed, modeled and printed, simply white. <coughs> and now it's totally different, but it's not a secret, so I will have the bridge here. Even if I'm not certain at 100%, maybe 99.5% that it will be in this position, but it will be there, guys. Uh, I don't want or I will try not to do extremely long videos. <laughs> I know, I, each time I start a new season, I always say, sorry for the noise, guys, I always say, I always say the same thing, uh, thing but uh, each season I make extremely long videos. So let, let's try, let's try, okay? So the bridge you know, but I need to start showing you something. <coughs> <coughs> Sorry guys, so still some residual of my very bad flu I got um, two months ago. Uh, but it was a very hard flu to recover from. Uh, I imagine it was just a flu, I don't know. Um, I will show you something that will be, that is already done, that it will be the main focus back there, guys. Let me take some, let me take something that I have here, guys, please. Look at this. <laughs> I know, another strange thing, another strange being there. This is what will be in the back there. And uh, this will be the only god, the only protector I will introduce. Maybe I will also show you from this other camera, guys. Okay. Uh, this is the only God, the only protector, call it whatever you want, that, you, that will be present on this season uh, layout, on this season uh, Christmas village, my Christmas village. It is an ancient fighting monk that is no more fighting, but it is not a real... It is pure uh, rock, pure stone. It is sculpted in some grey stone. Um, and uh, generally this is the eighth of the, uh, of the figurines, six centimeters. This guy is, sorry, I'm passing through. This is... 24 centimeters so it has the eight of four standard figurines and imagine this as uh, I've been printed not by me but sculpted by figurines sculpted by man's and I don't know if you can see but also in the sword uh, I've carved my name in runic fonts and it has a face, a very strange face. Uh, you will see it better during the uh, final recap, but is looking towards the floor and the tip of the sword is <laughs> very submerged into the rock. It is no more fighting, it is only protecting on the village. And guys, I will place it and you will see where I want to place it and why and the reason of it. Let me get this a little towards me. Sorry for the noise. This is a very heavy, guys. And let me go towards the back. 
these guys I'm here coming through uh, if this is the middle it will be placed there guys hope you are seeing me yes uh, maybe not at this level right now maybe I will go a little higher and uh, this sorry are you seeing me correctly this will be the source of uh, waterfall that comes from these eight here and so I will have in this final part that's the reason why I don't I haven't placed it right there in pure back that the limit of the layout is here that will go right there and behind there will be at some point a lake new way of doing my lake and then a waterfall maybe a real waterfall maybe with a real water I, I'm not sure 100% right now if I will be using um, real water or simulated water and the water will flow towards the side there in two separate ways plunging down and the lake uh, a small lake I will have here with the river getting there and with some enlarging towards the um, the front of the layout I'm still here guys sorry I know uh, I'm completely cut off right now my head is completely cut off and this will be yes it's standard it's like it has the same eight as uh, um, Anubis from last season, but this is pure rock and I use uh, the three layers um, I black washed I deeply hard black washed it waited uh, one week then three layers of gray each time a little more lighter and finally uh, final lay um, Final layout is uh, simply uh, dry white brushing towards from top to bottom top to down from up to down okay so this is where we'll all start and now I will place also on the bridge in order to let you see what it will be let me take it because I can always replace it and let me switch once again towards the camera I know <laughs> That's another reason why I don't expand even more this season. And let me get let me get there. Okay, once again. And uh, let me show you once again the little fighting monk, etc. And uh, this is okay and uh, I will place it right there and I will take the bridge Guys, this is how it can go. But what instead if it goes this other way, guys? What if it goes this other way, guys? This is what I want in the back there, guys. So it is 
a giant statue. It is a 74 centimeters tall statue, <laughs> modeled, 3D printed, assembled. Maybe I will show you some at some points how I did this. It's very heavy, empty inside, and this is what I want in the back there. Uh, let me show you, oh by the way, here I have my name uh, carved into the sword with runic fonts. This is a very ancient, a very old fighting monk that has been that has decided to become the protector of my village, of my 2024 village. I simulated it to be sculpted into some giant mountain, pure rock, and it is right here. And uh, once I've uh, black washed it, after one week, I started uh, layering some gray, three shades, dark, lighter, and then more white than uh, gray, before going, as always, with the uh, white dry brushing only vertically and also in the base you see some shades of uh, green etc. But let me place it where I want it to be. Let me go right there guys. You know I exaggerate and this is, if it, this is the starting point of this 2024 season, what else can happen? And I have uh, went too far, I don't know, up to you. Let me go back, sorry for the noise guys. Okay guys, the protector, the statue, will go right there guys, right here, 74 centimeters guys, more than 30 inches, never done a protector or statue of God this tall and this will be in the background constantly with the lake here in the base. Maybe I will go a little higher like that. I don't know, I still need to think about it, but uh, it will be clear by part two, I think. And then the river, a uh, narrow river, will go towards the up front there, opening very suddenly into something near the ocean, the water, that will not be visible, but will be in the front of the layout. Um, up here, I will work a, a lake, another lake, a secondary lake, up there with uh, some more space getting higher towards the mountain with the waterfall having a waterfall from getting down from one shoulder and from another shoulder to be honest i wanted to have the water at the beginning when i modeled this coming out from his eyes that are simply two holes, as uh, water generated 
from his tears, crying for the bad situation of the village he was protecting and uh, crying maybe for, I, I, you know, I'm not religious, but maybe I can talk about the scenes of the villagers that will be present and some where will, will be very disturbing. Not that much, much more disturbing than standard Limax or Department 56 figurines. And obviously this waterfall divided in two with the sword always visible. It will not be possible to do it with real water guys. Uh, because having a real water flowing down from these eight will generate, due to gravity, due to Newton gravity, first law of gravity, an impact on the lake down there, tremendous, enormous, 70, no, 60 centimeters of fall down with some water will make a splash, a gigantic splash, having the water flooding everywhere, having uh, the water splitting everywhere. So I will certainly not be able to do it with real water, even if I wanted that effort. Once completed, I wanted to waterproof everything and then having real water. But after completing the final step of painting it, I placed it myself in front of my PC. I opened the, the Solid Works, that uh, is uh, an engineering program, uh, an engineering software I use for calculating uh, sometimes uh, flow, water flow, etc. Uh, I knew by that, by that time, that having real water was absolutely impossible. So I will go with water. But every time you have seen someone doing such tall waterfall, it will always be started on the flat surface. Uh, generally with some silicon, coke silicon, and then once it is dried, applied there. But in this case, they simply used a vertical gravity and nothing more. I want this to be as uh, near to reality as possible, so I will do it in another way and I will, have, I will add an invisible, almost invisible support. Then uh, I will pour soap, modified, chemically modified soap in order to have the soap almost uh, um, regaining the solid state, uh, flowing naturally towards the back. It will be a long task, so the statue will be fixed, no more movable. And then I will go there from one side and from the other, plus vegetation, plus other things. I think right now, I told you, I'm mad, I'm sick, I'm totally out of my mind. 74 centimeters. <coughs> Let me rejoin. I don't want to, to tell you too much. I will, go, I will go around once again. Place it like that, guys. Now you know the starting point, guys. This will always be present in, in as the background. I don't know, maybe I can go and show you even from this angle what it is right now from this angle too. And once I will be doing the final recap, I will also take a look right there. Before, maybe before uh, showing you two more things, the bridge that will be here and now I decided to go there and my new companion guys because 
no one has already seen, has never seen my new companion. Uh, if uh, last season was, if two seasons ago was JJ, the season before was a sister Sarah, then JJ, J, then JJ, after the death of J, <laughs> sorry guys, last season was a Greta and his little mouse. This season I will do another male, okay? I generally do f male, female, or female, male, female, male, etc. Okay, and I will reveal it in the last minutes or maybe on the on the bridge there. But let me show you quickly, if I can, how I got there. Hi guys, I'm Silvio, and this is a leap into the past. Right now it is early March 2024 and outside it is pouring water like I've never seen before and it has been doing so uh, for the past three weeks. Crazy weather all around the world. If I did this correctly or if I will be doing this correctly, you have just seen this statue some minutes ago or some seconds ago, fully completed, fully assembled, fully uh, primed and painted and everything else. But I wanted to show you how it was in plain middle of uh, the work of what I planned. Uh, I modeled this statue around mid-February 2024, obviously not that huge. I modeled it, as I always do, with a scale from a little different from my standard figurines, a little larger than my uh, standard figurines scale. And this is huge, guys. It is 74 centimeters tall. Yes, 74 centimeters, and this is just half of the statue, okay? You can see here in the back of the first half, and obviously, as I always do, I mark on every piece the, um, <clears throat> the time it took to print this. Uh, for example, this piece here took... Uh, uh, 52 grams and I don't I haven't marked the time here because the printer uh, stopped during the night and I had to replace uh, the um, the filament the roll of filament so I really didn't know how exactly uh, um, how much it, exactly it took to print this piece but some other pieces like this one took 8 hours and 46 minutes so it is upside down. It took 8 hours 46 minutes and it used uh, 119 grams of uh, filament and it is printed at this uh, level here 0 0.16 that is not the maximum uh, definition for my printer but it is a little step behind. Not a standard because standard it is 0 0.12 0 0.2 so it is little better than standard. And I didn't want this to be as precise as uh, it can be at the maximum precision, at the maximum um, scale possible. So this, obviously, this is just the half, and I needed to divide this in one, two, three, four, uh, five, six, seven, eight, nine pieces for the front. And it is totally different from the back. And you can see that if this piece, I cut it from here to there, because you are seeing the seam, and I use the sum of my uh, resin I use for the resin 3D printer to seal everything together. And if this piece is from here to there, the other piece is a little taller from there. It is a little lower than these seams here to up there. This means that when I assemble all these pieces, I get, and you can see the seams, something that is like some Lego bricks or some Tetris, if you want, that each piece can 
uh, push once against the other and get the structure more uh, stable because this is very tall and it is a fully, um, it isn't full inside. I simply use it as some, um, uh, some shell, okay, outside shell. Uh, because otherwise it is a waste of a filament and this would have weight four or five uh, more uh, kilograms, okay? But I want this usable and, uh, and like that with simply the shells, it works. And it still miss half of it, the back, and I can show you one part of the back that will be, I think, this one or the other one. Right now, I don't know, this is the other part, okay? So I think you are seeing that the first part, so this will be a huge, a very huge and tall statue. Obviously, the back isn't that precise, isn't that defined because it will not be visible from the front view this will be the back of it, but always rocky. The important part is the front side, and uh, I model this as imprecise as possible, because when you sculpt something, this dimension with this, and this took, uh, I think, 17 hour and 19 minutes and 132 grams, so almost a day just to print this, and this is simply a shell, okay? It, inside, it is empty, just some millimeters of shell all around it, and then close it, and then it is closed. And it's not that heavy, okay? This is how you proceed. You need to 3D model this, then in uh, some, uh, software in some software that is adapted to every printer you need to slice this in order to have each piece and this is the largest possible piece i can print on you can print on standard 3d printers i think this should be around 25 centimeters by 25 centimeters yes it is 25 by 25 and then the 8 is 17, but I couldn't go on up to 35 centimeters. So this is not the tallest piece, but it is the wider and largest piece I can print on standard 3D printer that is huge compared to some standard uh, figurine. But it can be printed like that. It, too, it takes a lot of time, that's why I'm doing this during February and March 2024 because otherwise I will not have time to do this in plain season. This could be something left by by some old uh, or um, generations, by some ancient generation of the people who are living in that village. And it's not a secret that more you go into the past, more barbarian we were. Everywhere around the world, Europe, New World, South Africa, Africa, everywhere, barbaric tendencies from all ancient Europe went all over the world and it was the sword and the weapons that defended everything. So this is not an heresy. This is not being erratic with my Christmas village, but this is representation of the past. I know I should have done simply a Victorian era, a Cadenton era Christmas village, but you can deny to have some pieces of history around each village like you have in your cities, like you have around every country in the world. We have monuments, we have statues, we have relics from the past that are, that are there to remember us who we were. And I wanted something like that for this village. 
disease even before medieval ages, between uh, 1000 and um, be between uh, the first millennia and 300 into the first millennia, so up to uh, 1300 century, okay? And yeah, I, I wanted to explain to you why I choose to go that path with this. Hi guys, it's a late March 2024 and this is where I am with my giant protector statue. <laughs> it's awful right now, I know, because it's simply primed and then black washed, hard black washed. I exaggerated a little bit with my black wash simply because I wanted every single crack, every single groove to be visible once I uh, finished the painting. And before the black wash, the original color was this one, this white gray here. So it's really dark right now, but uh, color. I will use some gray. Done, guys. I think I will stop here. <laughs> what a long journey. Uh, I decided to finish this. Uh, it's not 12 hours as I prevented the... Um, not pre sorry, not prevented, uh, as I predicted. Uh, but it's only 7 hours and 52, seven hours and, uh, 52 minutes, so 8 hours. And this is the final result, guys. I went uh, vertically just with the white. And maybe you can't appreciate it uh, with this point of view here. But just remember how this was pure black. This is, yes, a stone statue, but it is in plain winter. Northern Hemisphere, as I told you. And... Uh, uh, it is supposed to, to be icy, okay? So icy tends to get white. I ended up not using more than three layers of gray. Let me get them. So first one, it is this one. Uh, second one was that one. And then you, you haven't seen me using it, but I use it these shades there. Three shades, I wasted some paint, but as always when painting such giant statue and it was the first time for me, first time ever painting. Then I add some uh, uh, earth brown, some dark earth brown, very lightly, especially on the, on the base and then here and there. And then some very light paint brush of olive green, like this one, and especially on the base there, 
I don't know if you can see, but they are on the base because these you will understand why when I will be back in the future in some four months, I think three three months, let's say three months. It is late March, late April, late May, late June, yes, three months and some days. And uh, this is all guys, even from the back, you can see that vertically and it has changed his aspect, at least for me. I don't know if it is the same thing for you, but the finishing with some vertical uh, white dry brush, this is how it ends up, okay? Uh, the back will not be as visible as the front in my intentions. So this is where I went. So guys, I know I, w I, I haven't worked that much. Last season, I worked much more on my 3D modeling and 3D printing simply because I had uh, <laughs> in mind what I wanted very late, March, April. But this season, the day after I've dismantled my 2023 Christmas visa, all came to me like that. And then I built up things upon things upon things. So buildings, that giant statue, <laughs> that is very giant, gigantic, then uh, the bridge. But I started modeling the bridge, then the statue, then the buildings. And during the season, I also changed my mind because here it was supposed to be in the, from this in this right corner, um, South American, a tropical Victorian era village, plenty of color, colorful. Then I changed my mind. So I have eight buildings modeled, 3D modeled, 3D printed, and the primed there and added lights that I will never use, and, but maybe you have seen them at some points during the off-season video. The bridge, guys. Let me take the elements. Okay, guys, the elements are there. Maybe I will go from the other, this other side. The elements are here, nothing there, but it is a huge bridge, guys, a usable bridge, a uh, modulable bridge in eight and everything else. I've... Uh, uh, marked every single piece in order to get them connected uh, correctly. Uh, I always marked also the time and the quality of the 3D printing. I don't know if you can see it right now, but I always mark everything. This particular take 27 hours and 45 minutes to 3D print the ones. Once I started the printing at the not the top notch quality but a uh, good quality and uh, it takes 226 grams of filament this is i always remember you this is uh, green plastic plastic filament has been created from corn so this is green plastic guys i'm not following the planet the earth this has always been green plastic polylactic acid plastic so corn plastic uh, i forgot uh, don't you see something strange no panels, <laughs> no styrofoam panels under the bridge. <clears throat> uh, not possible, guys. Let me add uh, some uh, styrofoam panels. Uh, this season, it will be also a little more complicated. Uh, change, go there. A little more complicated because I will certainly not have access to the to the main spots so i will need to start working on the center on the middle trying to do as much as possible because i will need to do maybe work like this like that 
getting there and then completing what it is more reachable towards the perimeter. But the center area and the back area, etc. More I'm here, I always have 180 centimeters so I can get to work on that from one side. But this side that is 12 feet away, wide, I will have difficulties accessing some points, accessing this point here and this point here. And I will need to do something that will damage the rest of the layout if I don't pay attention. So I must work section by section trying to finish one section before getting. And this is new because I tended to start many tasks and then finish them. But let me get some styrofoam panels. Okay guys, that is the bridge, it's a huge bridge guys, it is, and I'm here once again guys, this is one hundred and thirty centimeters, okay, one hundred and thirty, it is a huge bridge, maybe, I don't know if I will go simply with um, those here, those 10 centimeters a year, but for the moment I think <coughs> I will go with these centimeters. So it, when I will be doing the final recap, you will see the point of view of this, especially when placed like that with the sword <laughs> visible from the hole in there, guys. But I will do a, a particular uh, first um, final recap. But as you can see there, there is some holes there. Okay, here you have some uh, containers that you can see there, one here, one there. And uh, those containers may um, maybe some Brazilians, I don't know, but uh, um, what I had in mind is having uh, some flowers there. Then I also add some holes, as you can see, because this is modular. You can uh, you can uh, get uh, everything you want there. And let me show you with just a simple adding some little elements to the bridge, guys and here, how this can be totally different, okay? Let me add this element there, okay, like that. And then also another couple of elements like those ones, guys. And I will place them there, one here and one there and people get can get through look at how different is already the bridge is usable 
maybe you can get in plain middle here even if it rains and getting a look everywhere but I wanted something that can be used somehow so guys with uh, yeah, yeah, I have something very strange with the same technique you have seen me using for uh, building the street lamps some months ago I've used the same technique to reach something that has a strange base you can see right here but this strange base it is there for a reason imagine that I will go with one street lamp there this is more a bridge lamp guys than a street lamp and I have more of them and let me place them I'm revealing too much but this technique on how to make those street lamps if you want you can see it in my past videos during the past months how I did it and simply use some very thin wires that I will be able to hide if I went one here the next one I will go right there and the LED I used are very bright so they will make a very large amount of light so I tend one two three obviously the fourth will be here this is already something <laughs> different from a, a standard starting point then guys I also have something else that I haven't painted yet but I want to show you them any oops anywhere anyhow so some simply things that if I place them that are smaller than those ones simply because the um, the space is less and I went like that imagine that this is not symmetrical and here you can place plants flowers whatever you want not a brazier, not uh, um, some um, fire because you already have lamps so I know this is uh, sorry guys I know this is uh, some ancient bridge but bridges exist from and from very ancient times but it has been modernized with lamps Victorian era lamps the version 1.0 that are uh, shorter than my standard street lamps that I always have with me you can see that uh, they are shorter but they are intently done like that because they need to be used on the bridge that has different needs and it is also different from the new version of the street lamps this is version number one no this is version number two originally my street lamps five six seven years ago were like that very roughly done then i went with this new version here of street lamps okay now the new ones you will be seeing it's not a secret because you have already seen me doing them with this one so I will use intensively in that section that I haven't revealed what I will be using there it will be a surprise so guys uh, I think <laughs> this is more uh, okay and uh, so this is the maximum width of the river will be under the bridge there because here you have the passage for the water so I think uh, here and there so uh, the water will be there and then narrow then getting there I know what you are thinking 
Why? Why? <laughs> Such a wide bridge there when I told you plenty of time that the river will be narrower in the middle. And generally, you tend to build bridges where you have less, uh, less distance to cross over. <laughs> I don't have uh, an answer right now, but I will try to make the river impossible to cross in other points, but not there especially because with the amount of water coming down from the protector it will be a very white water river, very dangerous, so not that stable. One last thing guys, it is this little guy here guys, that you will see intensively during the final recap guys. New companion guys, this is Mac. <laughs> Why Mac? And I place him on top of the bridge. Mac because I wanted something that can remember me a wise man, a cultured man, a cultured man, um, very deep into the uh, into everything is happening uh, always reading something always trying to find solution always trying to evolving so what better figure than MacGyver and I'm not talking about the recent uh, series uh, uh, TV series I'm talking about the 80s TV series with uh, Dean Anderson, the, the same actor that uh, made more recently um, Stargate SG-1 on TV. You know that I'm really fan of science fiction. I have plenty of books there, <laughs> science fiction books, historical books, history and science fiction. And uh, Dean Anderson was the perfect MacGyver that with just one little Swiss knife can build an air, um, uh, a carrier, um, an airplane carrier, okay? A giant boat, a, a building with just a Swiss knife, but it was deep into everything from history, physics, chemistry, everything. So I've even made him with a magnifying glass and I will show you and deeply close during the final recap and some uh, tool bags, no, uh, uh, tools bag, okay? And it is simply color. I've changed the, um, the uh, skin tone and I will go deeply into details during the final recap, guys. Uh, once again, this is just uh, the uh, starting point, guys. And the protector, guys. Uh, now you know where I am able to go with my craziness, with my out of mind, with, uh, with my sickness. If this is the starting point, just imagine what I will be doing. But the real reason why I did this is when you will see the, the final recap. Let, let me do the final recap, then you will see this face once again. Final recap of part one of the 2024 season. And I'm starting from him, guys. You haven't take a look from this point of view here, but I can show you what it is like to face him right now. 
okay guys so this is the protector and even from this point of view guys it is watchable and you can see the sword through the hole in here and back there you can see the sword and if I go up it is visible from every angle so even from the downside even from the river there you will be able to see the giant protector there and once you get up upper 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 it is clear that it is here to intimidate you to watch at you but also to protect the village Silvio <laughs> it is yes I know uh, I shouldn't have placed my name there because I'm not the protector but as you have just seen it took me so long to do it and the bridge guys you saw the bridge some months ago just uh, after all the elements uh, came out from the 3d printer but now with this painting and as always i did the priming then three layers of gray no sorry guys priming then black washing not as hard as that one because with the protector i want every single little scratch to be visible so plan black but i went with some standard uh, black wash then after the gray final touch where the white and then the green and everything else everything is watchable true and if i remove these elements there you can use the bridge uh, as it is without those elements so i wanted those elements to be tall so i added the base there but even without the base you can use the bridge it will have only these eight here from this point here but it is usable so modular you can do this just with one two three and the same exact thing from the other side so very short bridge or very long gigantic bridge and mac here guys he is there maybe i will place it against something white like that so guys i went with a different type of colors for my uh, new companion and as i told you it has a magnifying glass it is reading a book and look at his eyes guys maybe i should focus on the head guys it is intimidating so gray hairs let me go like that uh, gray hairs uh, on top of it the background back from the back side and i only use some medium uh, gloss for the coat that is supposed to be a leather coat so it is a little shining and this is the uh, tools bag and then some money bag too I went with a little blue tie so I imagine him as being as cool as possible uh, you know are like the movie heroes uh, that they um, walk extremely slow even if a nuclear explosion is happening behind them so I wanted it to be cool man so I modeled this as a cool man a cool wise man from Victorian era and it's not praying this is not a bible but it is some science book or something like that okay and uh, as always model at the 3d printed primed then not black washed because i never black washed the figurines 
and then I went with some classic notas, extreme colors. The only extreme colors is the border of the coat that is a little red, but otherwise some standard colors. And it will be my companion all along this new season. And please take a look at that. Each figurine can get a true and even be present on the bridge like him, like that. So the bridge is usable. You will use or you will need, be able to use some carts, some small uh, stands there, everything. I will make him, uh, sorry, I will make it as operated as possible. The street lamp that are um, functional, so inside you can see that I have my standard uh, bright white LED. So uh, bright LED, so enough light projected in order this one to illuminate enough space before the next one get uh, used. So you will not have any dark corners there. And then some little spot for the plants for some uh, I don't know from some small trees and here we go same technique there with the street lamps there I printed the base this white piece there and then glued on top of it the standard uh, version 2 of the uh, street lamps and then I went with some light blue and light yellow transparent as this was painted at some time or you or if they used some different uh, color stones for the bridge and also from this point of view you can see that uh, it is a very usable uh, bridge there and uh, even under the art guys you can get through even under the arc okay so I can obviously replace the arc there and place it, but like this is more harmonious. Okay, guys. Uh, and this is the standard styrofoam, the standard four centimeters styrofoam. But once again, from this point of view, guys, who having in the back him getting a look at me and this is the main point of view and this season this river in the middle there little river that will go wide only in the final um, uh, stage in the final meters of the stage we'll have a section there and a section there this will be a more classical um, section with uh, more classical buildings there on the left not so classical buildings but here you will have also many surprises and then and then all the all the all the little section four five maybe five four is certain five or six uh, it depends on how long it will take to build one of them one of those main force section because it is it will take me so long but it will have uh, a strange effect okay i think eh, at least i never i i never build anything about it and uh, it will be something different i will reveal one last thing in this final i will massively use massively as lo as i can these small motors guys i found uh, those online just recently but they are very small guys look at my finger they are very small and this is a motor reductor so it reduced the um the rpm the rounds per minute and i will use them to add some movement to some of my uh, little uh, section maybe you remember that last time i used a motor reductor um, was this big and i used it under my three ring circus in 2022 but those ones are so powerful 
but uh, so tiny and look at them all the mechanism is uh, is there okay all the um all the cogs all the all the way to reduct the uh, speed of these electrical motor here into something that is that go very very slow but it will be clear last thing i will reveal for this new season and everything is watchable true even from this point of view here so you can have a different point of view and the bridge is usable even from there guys i can place not an entire big figurine but if i wanted i could place some figurines inside there and it is usable from each side and those are the symbols of something that will happen in this section here and instead of using a standard uh, roof color orange roof color as it is suited to be for the area i went with this blue color guys and i don't think it is to and this is a, a new type of painting of acrylic painting and it is a chalk paint and maybe i have it here somewhere yes guys i have it here I use uh, this chalk paint here, this blue chalk paint here. It is from a, from a Spanish brand, but it is so, so good. And it is uh, so chalky, so opaque. The result is so chalk, so opaque that uh, I love it. And this is completely a different brand from um, the one I generally use for um for the rest uh, for the other uh, parts of the uh of the of the village so different uh, type of uh, acrylic colors then some gold and this is supposed to be old so i used also some pieces of wood for repairing uh the roof right there but it still need to be finished and the water and the river will take me so long especially the waterfall that will fall down from one shoulder and from the other shoulder next time i think i will show you the beginning of the new stair but one last thing i want to show you is that sometimes my 3d model and 3d printing 3d printed figurine goes completely off look it completely exploded this is uh, uh, organ grinder I made for my 2022 Christmas village and look how it exploded enough holes uh, in the parts not visible in order to drain all the resin that was still inside him and so during the time it's like having uh, something that uh, boil inside so it cracked from the inside it exploded from inside doesn't he remember you alien movie <laughs> with something exploding that's the reason why i implemented the so many more holes and i don't know if you can see them no uh, they are either the, by the paint by the painting layer that by the, um, the layer of paint but no way I will ever be able to use this organ grinder as it has exploded. Maybe yes, if I will 3D print another one of him. But the monkey was absolutely... <laughs> uh, I, I, I was satisfied with the modeling of the, of the monkey there. That it is modeled following Abu from... Aladdin uh, Disney movie but rest in peace organ grinder uh, okay guys that's all for this first final uh, recap see you for the outro poor organ grinder uh, don't you think he deserved better from you you are not that good as a protector for this village and don't 
even thing to throw me that sword and hit me in the back. I can see you from the camera monitor up there. First outro of this new 2024 season. And even if this is only the beginning, don't think, not even for a second, that I will limit myself. I will go totally in, like I never did before. I will go further, that would uh, show me my folly, my craziness, my pure deranged mind. Mm, maybe this is the last time you will watch one of my videos. Please don't forget to subscribe, comment and give big thumbs up. Thank you for watching. Thank you for bearing my English that was a little rusty uh, because of the winter months of inactivity of not practicing at least as often as I do during the uh, normal season. And see you for part two, at least. I hope, guys. Thank you. Bye.